In this video, we're going to be considering the idea of efficiency. So remember from the last video, due to the principle of conservation of energy, no energy can be created, no energy can be destroyed. However, it is possible for energy to be transferred into something that isn't useful. But let's just remember the key points. First of all, energy cannot be destroyed. So whatever energy you put into something, it must be the same amount of energy that comes back out again. So if 100 joules go into something, 100 joules must come out. The thing is, is that that 100 joules might not come out in the form that is particularly useful. Let's think about an example that we used in the last video, and that was a light bulb. Now, when we think about a light bulb, we can see that the energy that goes into it is electrical and the energy that comes out of the light bulb is some of it is going to be heat and some of it is going to be light now of course in this case light is the useful one we don't really want a light bulb to create heat we only want it to create light so that's the useful one well, let's put some numbers in there. What if the electrical energy in, in a given time, was maybe 100 joules? And in that time, let's say 90 of those joules became heat. That would mean that 10 joules have to become light. Now, you can look at that one, and it's quite a simple example. You can see that only 10% of the energy has gone into light. We would say the efficiency of the light bulb in this case must be equal to 10%. Let's think of another example now that's perhaps not as obvious. If we go back to the car that we thought about in the first video. Now, if you remember, the car converts chemical energy from the petrol into three major types. One of those is kinetic, another one is heat or thermal, and another one would be sound. Now let's say in this particular instance that the chemical, chemical energy that went in was 200 joules. We know that over here it must total 200. Now let's just say that we get 40 joules of kinetic energy let's say that we get 150 joules of heat or of thermal energy that means that over here in order to add up to 200 it must be 10 joules of sound now we have to look at this and we have to decide which one of these is the useful energy well the whole point of a car is to actually move to different places so the kinetic is the useful energy the heat and the sound are wasted now what's the efficiency there We've got 200 joules going in, we've got 40 joules, quite a small number, of useful energy coming out. So that means the efficiency in this case is going to be 20%. If you think about what that really means, it means that 80% of the energy is wasted. Out of all that petrol that goes in, only 20% actually made the car move. So the general equation for efficiency is something like this we say the efficiency of something, either a car, a light bulb, or anything where energy is changing from one form to another, always equals the amount of useful energy that we got out of the system divided by the total energy that went into it. So how much energy comes out that's useful, i.e. the kinetic energy of the car or the light energy of the light bulb, and we divide that by how much went in. And then for IGCSE purposes, we're going to treat that as a percent. Now to get from a fraction, i.e. one number divided by another, to a percentage, we just simply multiply that by 100 and stick a percent sign on there. Now let's use the equation to answer a question. Let's think of another thing that converts energy. Let's think of a power station. Let's think of a coal-fired power station. 
Well, a coal-fired power station is a converter of chemical energy, i.e. there's lots of coal that then gets burnt, and that becomes electrical energy, and it also becomes heat or thermal energy. Now, the power station's job is to create uh, electrical energy, so this would be the useful one. Now, let's just put some numbers in here. Let's just say that the chemical energy that this power station burns in a particular amount of time is 1 million joules. And let's say that during that time, it produces 300,000 joules of electrical energy and it produces 700,000 joules of heat energy. Remember, these two numbers on this side must add up to the million joules on this side. No energy is created or destroyed. So we get 300,000 electrical, and we get 700,000 joules of heat. So using the equation, if you remember the equation, we say that efficiency equals the useful energy out of something divided by the total energy in and we want to convert that to a percent so we multiply that by a hundred and we put a percent sign on there well let's work this one out so we've got basically three hundred thousand joules of useful energy divided by 1 million joules of the total energy that went in. Um, we can look at that and we can cancel that down and that is going to equal, well let's just do it, we cancel this one, we cancel this with this, we cancel this with this, we cancel this with this and so on, until we are left with 3 over 10. Now we must multiply that by 100%, so if we multiply that by 100%, that's going to leave us at 30%. So we would say the efficiency of this power station is 30%. In other words, 70% actually gets wasted. Only 30% is useful.